Why did it have to be vampires? As soon as you're ready, we have another mission that could use your unique approach. Vampires. The region beyond is crawling with them. Worse, anyone we send in there is turned into one of the foul monsters. And do you see the structure that looms on the horizon? I believe that's one of Molag Ball's infamous harvest hearts. Eager and confident. I like that. I need you to collect blood from the vampires. It's an integral component in the pacification ritual I will perform. Use the blood to mark their layers. I'll meet you near the heart when you're finished. What are you still doing here? The vampires won't bleed themselves, you know. I have my preparations to deal with, and you have yours. The first step is to make sure the ritual targets the correct creatures. Marking the vampires' layers with their own blood will guarantee this. In the most expedient manner possible, the ritual unleashes a magic that tracks down the blood and targets the creatures connected to it. Then the vampires will become mindless beasts, no longer capable of posing any threat. I've been developing this ritual for years, but I've never had the chance to test it until now. If this works, it could be a major breakthrough against vampirism. Just another of Molog Ball's clever witticisms, I suppose. It's an orchard from which he plucks the fruit of his vampiric creations. Or something poetic and disturbing like that. But we have a ritual to prepare for. I've read accounts of these foul artifacts. Molog Ball uses them to enslave large communities and to empower specific parts of his divine portfolio. In this case, I believe the heart is greatly increasing the rate at which the vampirism spreads. Not easily, but that's where my ritual comes in. By the time I finish casting it, the heart will be no more, and the vampires will no longer pose a threat to our forces. Planning to take a stroll in the orchard? The uh, denizens of that place are quite interesting, and uh, by interesting, I mean they'll, like as not, try to tear your face off. We've a lot of that here in Cold Harbor for some reason. Yeah. Molag Bal is the enemy here, not my children. My children are not evil. Temptress, I'll hear no more of your lies! Such a stubborn elf. Perhaps your companion will be more willing to listen to reason. We can't trust this one. Her pleasing form hides a hideous and powerful monster. I hope that you'll prove to be more reasonable than your companion. My offer makes perfect sense, considering the alternatives. Some call me the Crimson Matron, others the concubine of Cold Harbor. I am an elder vampire brought to this new life by Molag Ball. These are my children, but they have been enthralled by the Lord of Brutality. My children protect this orchard because Molag Ball commands it. They aren't evil. They're slaves of the Harvest Heart. Instead of destroying them, help me set them free. Imagine an army of vampires that owes you a favor. 
A ritual. The elf plants to perform will drive my children mad. But there's a better solution if you're willing to listen to reason. Molag Ball is the real enemy here. Let me help you free my children from the Dark Lord's thrall. Then we both win. I can perform my own ritual. It will destroy the Harvest Heart and set my children free. Help me accomplish this, and my children will be in your debt. They will provide you with safe passage through the orchard and aid you against Molag Ball. Of course. Take all the time you need. It's not like you're trying to save the world from Molag Ball or anything like that. Oh wait, that's exactly what you're trying to do. I shall await your decision with bated breath. You can't seriously be considering her proposal, can you? She's a confounded vampire for Magnus's sake! She's an elder vampire! Setting those monsters free will be like ringing the dinner bell in a Nord feast hall before the meal is ready. Her so-called children see us as food and nothing more. The only logical solution is to perform my ritual. Really? You need to consult with a monster before you agree to help the great and powerful Vanus Galerion. Oh, very well. Do what you must. I'll wait here until you reach a decision. Have you considered my proposal? Will you help me save my children and set them free? I can perform my own ritual. It will destroy the Harvest Heart and set my children free. Help me accomplish this, and my children will be in your debt. They will provide you with safe passage through the orchard and aid you against Molag Ball. A most wise and honorable decision. I'll follow you to the ritual sites. Protect me while I perform the ritual, and we will break Molag Ball's hold on my children. I hope you know what you're doing. But just to be clear, I'm helping you, not the Crimson Matron over there. That said, destroying the Harvest Heart is now our primary concern. I'll prepare this area while you help her start her ritual. My children will oppose us every step of the way. As long as the Harvest Heart continues to hold them in its grasp, they have no choice. Protect me from them, and I promise I will set them free of Molag Ball's evil. Defend me while I perform this portion of the ritual. portion of the ritual is complete. Defend me while I perform this portion of the ritual. Thank you for assisting me. This portion of the ritual is complete. Now we must return to the Harvest Heart. There is one more thing to do before we can destroy Molag Ball's vile monstrosity. Come ah, talk to me. I need to explain, I must explain the next steps to you. The next stage of the At ritual. this point, we can't afford for anything to go wrong. I've prepared the ritual site, and I'll assist the vampire with her spell. But if she betrays us and our world is destroyed, I'll never speak to you again. The time has come to perform the ritual and destroy the Harvest Heart. My children yearn to be free. The black blood flowing from the Harvest Heart binds my children to Molag Ball. But it also gives us a connection we can take advantage of. While I provide the power to destroy the Harvest Heart, you must sever the connection to Molag Ball. Find the Lord of Schemes, binding totems, and destroy them. They are spaced evenly around the Harvest Heart. As each totem breaks, my children will be separated from Molag Ball, and the energy protecting the Harvest Heart will falter.
The harvest heart is destroyed! I hope this was all worth it. I was so looking forward to turning their minds to jelly. The harvest heart has been destroyed. My children are no longer slaves to Moloch Ball. Most certainly. Thanks to your efforts, my children are free. They won't give you any more trouble. And, as I promised, my children will aid you when you need it most. Another successful mission. But we're not finished yet. Just the person I was looking for. King Dainar is rallying our forces near the Reaver Citadel. Yes, King Dainar and our forces are preparing to attack the Reaver Citadel to the north. And on my way to find you, I noticed a strange shipyard to the east and a Red Guard settlement to the west. It was the strangest sight. More shipwrecks than a shipyard, really. It was as if they just fell out of the sky. And there was an awful lot of them. Other than a massive graveyard of ships of various designs spread across the valley to the east of here? No, not really. It's Molag Bol's last sign of defense before we reach his inner sanctum, and it's certainly his most powerful. The Dramora station there have turned it into a heavily fortified city. Not quite, but soon. He's waiting for you and a few of the others to meet up with him. They're gathering on the land bridge just to the north. I'm gonna head in that direction as soon as we're done here. No, I doubt it's an actual settlement. That's just what the architecture reminded me of. I wasn't able to get too close, but I swear I heard music coming from that direction. You know, it sounded very festive to me. Isn't that strange, in a place like this? What could any of these souls shriven have to be happy about? Thanks to you, the vampires are no longer controlled by Molag Bal. I hope we don't live to regret this outcome. I appreciate what you did for my children. Most mortals see us only as monsters. But you were willing to look beyond that and set us free. <laughs>